Rusticus. You're right. The pizza people are naive in that they think a large number of gay couples are going to want their weddings catered with pizza. <laughs> I, I mean, here's the thing. Let, let's play the report. Here, I mean, I, I do feel some, let me say this, very limited sympathy for this pizza family because I don't have I don't have, I don't feel like I want to have animosity for people who are ignorant and largely benign, okay? And they are ignorant, yes, and they are largely benign if state law does what it's supposed to do, which is we're going to protect ignorant people from doing harm to other people. So if you own a pizza place, even though Jesus informs your pizza making, you still have to serve everybody if you're going to serve anybody. If you're going to, if you're going to operate in Caesar's world of commerce, okay, and not just make this, uh, I'm supplying pizza to people at the church every day and that's it. If you're going to open your doors to the public, you have to serve everybody in the public. That's what law is really to do, is to protect ignorant people from doing harm to others. So I don't have much animosity to them, and I have a little bit of sympathy because I think if this uh, recollection of the story is true, they weren't aggressively going out there and putting out a press statement, we're not going to serve pizza at any weddings. Let's listen to, now again, it's a report from Fox, so maybe it's not that way. But uh, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's listen. But we begin tonight with Trace Gallagher, who reports from our West Coast newsroom on the small town family, now at the center of a white-hot controversy. Trace. And Megan, 61-year-old Kevin O'Connor opened up Memories Pizza in Walkerton, Indiana, nine years ago, and his nine children have all worked there at some point. Yesterday, a local TV station came into the restaurant to get opinions about Indiana's new religious freedom law. Kevin and his daughter were both interviewed. The daughter said this. Listen. We're not discriminating against anyone. It's just that's our belief. And everybody has the right to believe anything. Pause it. Now, she's absolutely right here. Anyone has the right to believe anything. What anyone doesn't have the right to do is to just open up a restaurant. You have to get licensed by the Board of, the, of Health. You have to be in the proper zone where you can open up a restaurant. You have to abide by certain standards that state, federal, local laws impose upon you because you're engaging in commerce with the public that is supported by the streets that drive your, um, your customers to you and the sidewalk that they come across and the electricity that's delivered to you that is using easements, et cetera, et cetera. Kevin went on to say, as always, anyone is welcome in his pizza place, but because of his religious beliefs, he couldn't cater a same-sex wedding. He thought he was saying it metaphorically since he's never catered any wedding, but the response was vicious. Prior to the interview, he had two Yelp reviews. Both were excellent. At one point today, he had more than 1,200, mostly negative and nasty reviews. Yelp keeps taking them down, but right now he still has more than 500. Their Facebook page has also been inundated with threats and mean messages that he says just get more and more angry. For now, the restaurant is closed because the phone won't stop ringing, and they don't know which orders are real and which are phony. He's not sure when or if he'll reopen. And just minutes ago, I spoke to him on the phone. He said he doesn't know where all the hatred comes from, telling me, quoting here, because I don't believe in something that they want, they see fit to be angry about it. It's really confusing to me. I'm just a little guy in a little tiny town. That's where I've been my whole life. He ended by saying, it's just been ugly. I don't know what to call it. Kevin O'Connor, mind you, stands by his comments because that's the way he was raised. <laughs> But for a place called Memories Pizza, this one isn't a fond one. Megan. Nice Trace, thank you. Button. Nice button there. For a place called Memories Pizza, this isn't a fond one. Um, 
All right, so the guy made an offhand comment that was theoretical because he obviously had not been catering weddings. And it's just his ignorance. Like, I don't know why people get so mad just because I want to deny them a basic right that I would deny anyone else who was more like I like them to be. I mean, so the guy's just ignorant. But he also walked into a buzzsaw because of his ignorance. And uh, there's a lot of dum-dums out there. So I do feel somewhat sympathetic uh, for him. And really, to the extent... Now, I don't want to cast aspersions on all of Indiana. Because my understanding is that the Hoosiers are some of the nicest people in the world. And Hoosier hospitality is number one. But... Is there anybody there who has half, a, like, a brain? Like, Mike Pence seems to be a massive dunce. These guys, they seem very nice. I mean, you could go to their pizza place and have memories about the pizza. But are they all this ignorant? I would hope not. Someone's got to intervene and save these people from themselves so that they don't discriminate against other people just because Jesus has, con uh, has ordered them not to make pizza for gays. Him using a hypothetical sort of says more than I think he thought it was saying. Like, you know, no one's ever asked me to make a pizza for a wedding before, but if a gay person was to be the first, I would make sure that they wouldn't, I would not make it for them. Like, what? Like you're Here's the weird part about uh, that. Something that isn't even happening? Here's the weird part, though. He would make calzones for them. <laughs> the calzone loophole. There is a calzone uh, <laughs> loophole. Like the 14th or 15th apostle, calzone. They never talked about him because, yes. He was a little loose. He was a little shady around the edges. He was, as they used to say, a little light in the sandals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Fine, give them calzones. I decree. Um, real quick. I've made a compromise with calzone. 